Hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of Super Mario Land 6 Golden Goins. So to get to the space zone, you have to go back to the hippo level, stay in the bubble, and reach the top of the level. Who would have known? Now we're anti-gravity Mario! With our super jump on little piggy pants. Uh, if you guys get that reference, let me know. It's off of, uh, Almost Naked Animals. It's a Canadian... Uh, cartoon on uh, YTV. Uh, apparently, this is supposed to be one of the hardest areas of the entire game. Not only because to get to it's a pain in the butt, but the fact that uh, the boss is difficult plus the level design. And we got rocket ships. Who doesn't love little rocket ships? I know I certainly love rocket ships! I don't love rocket ships anymore. I'm not a fan of the soundtrack for this level, though. I do have to say, this is probably my least favorite soundtrack of all of Super Mario Land. Um, even though it's, it's, a, it's okay, I wouldn't say it anything spectacular. Now, Kirby! Whew. I heard Kana's board was playing uh, another Kirby game there, The Amazing Mirror. Check it out on YouTube.com. Gosh, I almost didn't make that. I wait, I see something else up there. So, no, this is the mushroom. But oh, oh, really? That little dirt bag had like a star blast attack. Oh, I get you. It's, it's, it's a one up. Seriously, that looks like a guy pointing up. Actually, I bet you that's what it's what it's designed to look like, cause. To get up here, you need that. Oh, really? I still know that there are spikes down there. Still recording all of this in a row. What what game do you guys want to see next? Ah, uh, this will give me about a week or so of game footage, because I always upload two Let's Plays a day, kind of like what Noofy Bonga does. Uh, I, at this time, I've only recorded this one. I haven't recorded its partner, let's play. As for Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, um, all that because I had quit the YouTube thing, and then realizing that you guys all wanted me to come back, I kinda, you know, came back, so... I mean, if you guys are wondering why uh, I'm not doing those let's plays, it's because I actually lost the data of them. Okay, so we gotta watch out for these guys and their star blasts. Which are like next to freaking impossible to avoid because he just hovers around one spot. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so the spikes, we should be good if we land over here. Okay, good. Okay, no, there's no power ups on these blocks. And we died literally smack dab in front of the checkpoint. How are there pigs in outer space? I will never know, but that's for another day in Mario Land Logics. Whew, we can barely make those sometimes, man. And that's the level. That wasn't too bad. Now I leave the moon and go to the star. Now, yeah, this is the one of the only auto-scroll levels in the game. And it's funny, because you're completely in our space. The controls are really easy. Except for one problem. You're in a minefield of stars. Excuse me for the burps, man. Ginger Ale gives me the burpages of a century. And Nintendo Capri Sun's kind of that way, too. He burps a lot in his Let's Plays. Funny guy though, I can't wait till, to see what game he's doing after his... Um, after his... Three Heart Ocarina of Time run. Just because that is honestly... One of my least favorite, um... Games that he's done. Freaking Nino... That Kino Nakumi or... Kino no Kumi or whatever it's called. That thing was so long, that thing was over 100 episodes. It's like Nufi Bonga's uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 Let's Play. I didn't think he Let's Played another Dynasty Warriors game on his channel before that. Okay, now remember guys, this is also... 
the boss level too, so this is why people hate this level. Or hate this zone the most. And we gotta deal with pufferfish guys too. Starfish? Ah! So witty. I'll just stay down here on the moon. Apparently. Either I'm on the moon. Or there's a star they can actually land on that's not made out of gas and fire. I wonder what this is. One coin? I think they could at least give you like money bags of coins for this level. It's not the world's most difficult auto scroll level, but it certainly isn't the easiest. Ooh, I can use that very much. Checkpoint. See, now you can go through the stars. Which is the only way to get through there without, you know, somehow magically going back through stars on an auto scroll level! Okay, now this is, I think, where the auto scroll stops. It'd be funny if the zero gravity stopped as well. Now we got this little freaking gremlin alien butt muncher. Ah! The fact that there's zero gravity here makes this the most difficult of all the bosses. Ah! No enemy, thank you very much. I think you automatically get a fire flower though. Oh no. How come sometimes you do? Okay, you know what? Um... Wait, what? Oh my god, I was losing lives! No, oh god, it's so scary! Okay, let's try this again! Oh, wait a minute, you can... You can... You can fly in that level, I did not know that. Okay, sorry if I'm quiet in this level. This is by far the most difficult level in the entire game. anybody defeat uh, Wario in this game though. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh my lives! I don't get what... I, I don't get what's happening here, man. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I know how to defeat this guy. What the? Okay, how come that didn't hurt him? Okay, so I gotta keep waiting for this guy. Or not. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll see you guys next time.